Hello my dear friends, welcome to the Java programming playlist. In this video, we are going to see the relational and logical operators that are there in Java programming. Let us start by having the discussion on relational operator. The relational operator are used to evaluate conditions that is true or false inside the if statements. Some examples of relational operators are equals, greater than or equal to, strictly greater than, strictly less than, less than or equal to and not equal to. So basically there are these six relational operators that are available in Java programming which we can use comparing the two things and getting the result in either true or false. Note that equal to sign is used for assignment whereas the double equal to here this double equal to sign is used for equality check. The condition can be either true or false. Let us understand them with examples. So here is an example given. So here it is a Java program. It is public class relational operator. So this program is giving us the demonstration of the relational operator. We have this public static void main. Then we have declared three integer variables a, b and c. And we have also initialized them. a is equal to 10, b is equal to 20 and c. So here is this if condition a greater than or equal to b and respectively there is an output statement. And there is another condition a equal to equal to c and then there is this output statement. Also we have written an output statement based on this condition of a not equal to b. Now let us see this example one by one and have the output of this. So here is the outline of the program where we have these three variables a, b and c initialized to 10, 20 and 10 respectively. So this is the first if condition which is saying a greater than or equal to b. Now a value is 10 and b value is 20. So 10 greater than or equal to 20? No, it is false. So it should go to the second part that is the else part of this condition and print b is greater than a. So let us look at the output. Yes, it is b greater than a. The second if condition is a equal to equal to c. So it is checking the equality of a and c. The value of a is 10 and the value of c is also 10. So this condition a equal to equal to c is actually true. Now once this condition is true then we have to go inside this if part and print here a and c are equal. So the output here is a and c are equal. The third statement was system.out.print the statement that a not equal to b is and here we have written a not equal to b. So now let us check what is this a value is 10 and b value is 20. So a not equal to b that is 10 not equal to 20 yes this is true. So what we are expecting here is the statement that a not equal to b is true. So that should be an output here. Yes, the statement that a not equal to b is true. So this is all about the relational operator. Now let us look at the logical operators that are available in Java programming. The logical operators are used to provide logic to our Java programs. The Logical operators are basically used in providing the logic where you can apply the logic with multiple conditions and concate those conditions. There are three types of logical operators in Java and or not. This double ampersand is and, double pipe sign is or and this exclamation is not. The and operator, let us understand this three logical operators in detail. First is AND operator. It evaluates to true if both the conditions are true 
else it gives us false so if there are two conditions first condition is true and second condition is true then this and operator will result into true else it will result into false so here y indicates true and n indicates false so if any of the condition in and operator is false the result is false for this to be true the both the conditions should be true the or operator evaluates to true when at least one of the condition is true so here you can see that true or true is true true or false is true false or true is true so when any either of this condition is true and you are talking about the logical operator the logical operators and and or are binary operators so they are taking two operands now when both the operands are true in the case of and it results into true but in the case of or if any of the operand is true it will result into true the or to be false both the operand should be false the not operator it negates the given logic that is true becomes false and vice versa that means false becomes true so not of y that is not of true is false and not of false is true let us understand this logical operator with the example so here is this logical operator class public static void main there are two boolean variables a and b and the values are for a is true and for b is false the system dot out dot print logical and a and b so what will happen is here a is true and b is false so true and false we know that if any of the operand is false in and operator then it will result into false the if condition is false it will go to the else part and it will print a and b is false let us see the output for this in the logical and portion a and b is false let us look at the logical or part so in logical or we have written a or b the value of a is true the value of b is false now or says if any of the operand is true the result is true that means here a or b will be true and it will go inside the if portion and it will print a or b tends to y that is true so logical or a or b is tends to y that is true let us look at the third that is the not operator now for logical not not of a is here not of a now a is true so not of a is false so here not of a will be false and not of b is b is false so not of b is true so it should print not of b is true so let us look at the output for logical not portion not of a is false because a is true and not of b is true because b is false i hope this is very much clear my dear friends these operators are very helpful in writing the java programs hence we have to remember them and use them wisely thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on java programming